Siri, thank you so much. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Any delicious meal that you can make is heightened even more when you're making something with fresh ingredients. And guess what? You can do that right here in our own backyard. We're joined here by Chef D, who's going to teach you how to cook something really delicious, and Jim Giselle from Flamingo Road uh, Fresh Farmers Market, where you could go ahead, you could pick out fresh fruit, fresh veggies, and you can make a fresh meal with Chef D. We'll teach you right now. Welcome, 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 guys. Well, thank, thank you very you much. Very well, actually, much. Good to see you. So glad that you're here. And Chef D, you're bringing delicious meal. Oh, yeah. And Jim, you're bringing great trees and, and, and stuff that you can have in your own backyard, right? Today we're featuring trop a tropical dish. All of the, all the fruits come from tropical trees that grow here in Florida. We have them all at our nursery. So we brought samples of those trees, and as D starts yes. cooking, We'll show you those trays. All right, decent. Excellent. Everything. All the fruits that I'm going to cook with today, guys, is from Flamingo Road Nursery. Fabulous, fresh, fresca, fresca, <laughs> delicioso, delicioso, <laughs> bueno. Right. So, so Jean, why don't you tell us what ingredients you're using? We're going right. I, what what happens is we're starting with our tropical or mango, which you know down in Florida here, it's the most luscious, delicious fruit you'll ever want to try. I'm making a Spicy mango tango fajita. <laughs> you sound like you're Jamaican. <laughs> yes, I am. A little Jamaican. Everything I read in Jamaica. Yes, everything I read. <laughs> all right, so I'm, I cut up my mango. What I do is I'm going to slice all my mangoes. Um, we're going to marry the, um, the islands with Mexico with the fajita. Okay. So cutting our mangoes, we're going to slice our mangoes down. Now, Diaz, you slice up that mango. Why yes. don't you go ahead and tell me? Oh, well, look, by the way, we have a chili. chili. This is one of the sauces that we carry here at the farmer's yes. market. It is a chili mango chutney with the fresh mangoes. Made from fresh it. mangoes. Lo locally that we grown prepare. mangoes. And that's just one of a bunch of different spices that Chef D prepares that you can get over yes. at Flamingo Road Nursery, right? That's correct. Over at the farmer's market. Yeah, we, we also have... do the lime cilantro. This is a great marinade right here lime cilantro, fresh cilantro. And uh, you have the olive oil as well. Dee, it's your olive oil infused, Jim, with your yeah. basil. That's right. This is this is basil. You may have seen this in Publix. We supply over 150 public stores with this basil oh, in its wow. packaging. That's how I got my start in agriculture before I opened really? up the farmer's market. So, yeah, this is our fresh-grown basil, which, which will be incorporated in today's recipe. Okay. We also grow hydroponic arugula. This okay. This is grown right down the street from the garden center right on Flamingo Road for 15 years, and we'll be putting some of that cold salad on top of a bed of arugula, Yes, right? we will. We'll All put right. our, little, our Caribbean top salad on top of that fabulous arugula. Fabulous. All right. Now, Dude. what I'm doing is I'm grilling off some spicy chicken made with our fusion spice, which is just a little bit of cilantro, garlic, onion, sea salt. But you make it easy, Dee, because it's in a bottle, right? You can buy it at the bottle. Okay, Dee, so why don't you work on grilling that? Yes. Jim, I want you to take me around and show me the different trees. Right, let's, let's start see. over there with this, this citrus tree over there, because okay. this, it's this three is, citrus fruits in one. This is an amazing citrus fruit. This is five different citrus all growing on the same tree. They do that because they're grafted. So we have grapefruit, we have tangelo, we have uh, uh, lemon, and a Persian lime all growing on the same tree. It's called a cocktail citrus tree. All right, and now you know what goes great with the tacos, the guacamole. We have some yeah, avocados like, going right back here, right? <laughs> people come into the nursery, they say, how big does a tree have to get before it starts producing fruit? Well, here you have it. Three feet, and it's got two big avocados on it already. Wow. And I should mention, this: all, all these trees are going to be featured during our festival, which is next two weekends. Yep. And for view, your viewers, we'll offer a special 10% discount if they tell us they saw us on the show today. Okay, there you go. All so right. if you want to walk home with your very own avocado tree, mention that you saw this segment on Live Miami. At 11 on NBC Miami, got 10% off. What's over this here? This is very unusual. Looks like a cactus, right? Yeah. But it's not. It's dragon fruit. Look at the fruit that are grown wow. on this. That's this beautiful. is amazing. Here's a fruit right here. It's being developed. D, cut that in half. Let's see oh, what it looks like inside. This is one of the neatest things. This okay. is fabulous. That's a little intimidating, that dragon fruit. I know. In a couple minutes, you're just, whoa. So what That's do you do? Do you just kind of like get a spoon and just oh, That's you it. can if you want to? Yep. Or you can put it in the martini. Yep. Or, or you, you make ice cream with it. Salad. Dragon fruit martini, I love what you think. All right. Pineapple. <laughs> over here. Everyone thinks they're grown in Hawaii. They're grown here, too. They're grown in Dayton. They're grown right, right here. And this okay. is very interesting. The pineapple is actually a bromeliad. Oh, you don't okay. think of it as being a bromeliad you know, commonly see around your pool, but this is it's in a bromeliad family. And what about that big one over there? What's that? This big Florida peach. Oh. We we carry peach trees. These peaches are every bit as good as the Georgia peaches that people come in for. <laughs> and um, yeah, peach trees, it's a special uh, yeah. breed that, that doesn't require so many cold days. So okay. we have those at the nursery. 
Now we're going to be tossing all right. uh, the fajita. Okay, chef. Uh, so what we do is we put all the peppers, the ingredients, the fabulous peppers from Jim's Farm, the onions from Jim's Farm. Put it all in there. Oh my gosh, the yellow peppers and the green onions. And so that's a starter for uh, fajita chicken or Caribbean spice of fajita chicken. And guess what? Nobody cooks the pineapple, but pineapple. Put the pineapple in there. To put, put it in. Drop right. that pineapple <laughs> in there. And guess what else? Mango. Because right, so we have 30 seconds here. I want to taste this. So let's All go right. ahead and. And we're going to drop our chicken in. Toss it like that. Look at the color. Can I help? Yes. Go ahead. Right. Right. And look at that. Our Caribbean spicy. Uh, Toss that uh, up. All right, and look how boy. fabulous that is. Fabulous. All right, okay, we're Dee, wanted to make a fajita for me. In the meantime, oh, I want to tell all it. of you, you can go ahead and go down to the Farmer's Market. The next two weekends, you mentioned NBC Miami. You're going to get 10% off your purchase. Right. Flamingo. Flamingo Road Nursery.com. The number is 954-476-7878. Here's my fork. I'm going right from the plate. You go. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs>